The changes announced by the University Council last week continue to raise concerns among stakeholders and students. The changes touched on reorganization of the administrative structure, which included abolishing 24 constituent colleges from the normal 35 to 11. The changes also aimed to abolish five offices of the deputy vice chancellors and replace it with two positions of associate vice chancellors. According to the University Council Chairperson, Professor Julia Ojambo, the new reforms were meant to break down the bureaucracy for the benefit of the institution's stakeholders. In the letter that was copied to the head of public service, Joseph Kinyua, and Attorney General Kihara Kariuki, Treasury CS Ukuriatani, among others, CS Magoha ordered that the changes be suspended until they are given a green light by relevant authorities. As a part of its restructuring, the University of Nairobi had announced that it has increased fees for postgraduate courses and parallel degrees in order to ease a cash crunch in the institution. That manage, we are managing more of a, not, not really infectious diseases, but more of communicable diseases. And these are conditions that require specialists. But when the government, through the uh, University of Nairobi, increases the fees threefolds and some fourfolds, it's a clear indication that they don't need these specialists to be graduating from the Kenyans. It doesn't make sense for the salaries and remuneration to claim that there will be no increment of salaries or allowances. Now, if there will be no increment of salaries or allowances, it means that it will be impossible for any parent to make an up upward adjustment of fees, whether in secondary, in college, or in university. This led to demonstrations by students who were also joined by KMPDU and a section of MPs who condemned the proposed increments. The students are now calling on the CS to intervene, specifically on the school fees telmet. And I want to urge all comrades to prepare for a do-or-die face-off. We are giving the government until Monday to address our situation or else we are going to call for a mass demonstration across, uh, across the country. So I want to call upon the president, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta, to ensure that tuition is free in the institutions of higher learning and also to increase the help allocation. In the same course, they must also substantially reduce the interest rate which is charged on the student loan. In a letter to the CS, the students through their council asked the ministry to release an official letter of the same gravity as the one suspending the restructuring of the university leadership regarding the proposed school fees in public universities. Was that we got a sneaked proposal by the university administration that was signed by Professor Kiyama on, on 19th of May 2021 before a retreat. And we were wondering why were the students, student leaders not con con considered in the engagement to increase this fee. We want to tell the administration that failure to involve UNSA is like creating chaos and we are going to create chaos. We are going to demonstrate and we are going to the streets. The students have threatened to go on strike and picket if their demands are not made.